good afternoon. Huh? You want me to pull forward? Okay, hold on. Okay, I, re I really don't know what they're doing right now. This is my first time at this stop. By the way, I just made it into work. It's probably 10.30 in the morning right now. Um, I was here for about an hour and a half before they gave me a load. Oh, they want me to go. Okay, hold on, sorry. Okay, child, this is my third time trying to do an intro. What was I trying to say? It's Monday and I'm at work. I just came from my first stop. I'm in a box truck right now.
before But you just ignored that So now you won't take back But there's no refunds here So you sort of hurt It makes you sick You were just, you were just lost You were just lost But now you found And you realize it wasn't at all Like what you created in mind It wasn't even nice You wasted all your time You didn't even like him in real life Real life Talking about that It just feels nice But let's get back to real life Real life Talking about that real life Holding on cause it just feels nice But let's get back to real life Trying to hurry up, but um, I'm just 
about to set up everything so that I can pull off because I know I have an appointment time. I'm sure I'm going to make it though. Like It's 4 a.m. There's no people really on the road right now. And so I'm going to just throw my GPS on real fast. into the USB port so that it can be charging. Okay. I just hooked up to my trailer. You guys have seen it so many times that it really wouldn't matter. <laughs> and um, as soon as I get my address in here, then I'm gonna go ahead and go. You know the type, you know the guy The one who wants everything but can't decide It's a low thank goodbye Wish for everyone at the same time He likes to chase, but somehow it's safe Never planning on actually staying Yeah, you know he's just playing
my she a blessing There's nothing that I would undo I'll never hit the yes, snooze on ya Always tryna show you something new to ya Only wanna treat you right, never leave your side Always on my mind, I memorize, fantasize everything about you chair for it so it's just sitting there but I told myself it's the storage that I have for my arts and crafts because you guys know I do bible scrapbooking and then all the other stuff so um in my bedroom I don't have a comforter set or I did but it's not it's not cute anymore it's not what I want anymore I want a purple one and then my gaming setup is gonna be like purple pink blue ish um and yeah, we'll just go from there. I'm honestly going to take a little bit more time decorating my gaming setup than just like a couple weeks. Because, I mean, some of that stuff is expensive. But um, I decided that I was going to start off with a PC since, um, since I do Sims game. And then I sort of wanted to start playing Call of Duty again. Um... Who knows if I'll even have the time to commit to it the way I want to. But I also wanted to invest in a PC because I wanted to um, I wanted to eventually get to the place where I could edit on it too. But I didn't want to use my laptop for both. I'd rather use a PC for both editing and gaming versus my laptop. Maybe I'm not making sense. <laughs> I wanted to invest in a PC because I know long term it's going to be something that I can upgrade and something that I can use for not just gaming but other things versus a laptop that once it's out, it's out. You know what I'm saying? So that's why. Child. I'm going to try to not go roaming the aisles in Target because 
I don't want to be in here all day for one. And then for two, obviously, if you roam too many hours, you'll end up spending a bunch of money. And I don't, I'm not here for that. I just want to get a comforter set. So I'm going to get a purple comforter set. Hopefully I can find one in here. I don't like duvet sets because who said I wanted to commit to putting stuffing inside of a casing in order to have a comforter? Who, who said that? Who decided that? I know it's probably more comfortable. I know you can, you know, switch it out and it be the same quality, but you'll be able to have different patterns and stuff. That's cute in theory, but who said I wanted to commit to that much work? I'm gonna keep it a buck. I don't even like making up my bed with comforters. You think I wanna commit to zipping and unzipping and stuffing and making sure that it's all evened out and then making sure that I have, you know, like, no. I gotta purchase more parts. No, I don't wanna do that. So I'm strictly comforter. I'm a comforter girl and that's just that. I don't know if I'll ever, ever commit to duvet. I mean, fitted sheets are already a problem for me because I can't even fold them right. And you want me to also buy a duvet and then sit there and try to like put the part inside to put the put the stuffing in it no so um hopefully target understands and will have majority comforter sets and not be playing around with no duvet because if i don't even care if it's a pattern that i like if it's in a duvet form then i'm not gonna buy it because time is money I don't want to spend no more time than I have to making up my bed. And that's just that. Hi. Um, can I please have your iced shaken espresso with oat milk? Um, and can I have that in a venti? And then could I also have your turkey bacon sandwich? Yeah, and that, that'll be it. Thank you. very weird to me that every single place that I go to now when it's like a cashier they have the option to receive a tip I don't have an issue with giving tips but like at the drive through window I ain't never experienced that before mind y'all I've had so many jobs prior to me driving and you know trucking or whatever and I remember jobs that used to be like do you can't receive a tip like even if someone handed me some money off to the side they'd be like you could get fired for that stuff like that and so to see things change so quickly where now it's like all you gotta do is hand me this drink and this food and you're like would you like to give a tip as i'm like paying out the window like that's crazy so i mean i gave him a tip but it just threw me off like it's just it's it's a suggestion window before you can even pay for your food but it's at the drive through like i don't know anywho i'm at target i'm gonna eat this food real quick though i got this turkey bacon sandwich and i got this drink now granted i don't like starbucks coffee i was supposed to make coffee before i left the house but i forgot so i bought this mainly because um I want the effects of the coffee, but this is not gonna taste good. So I, I'm not even excited for it, but I like the, the sandwich for sure. Smooth like silk in a minute, so hills. Let me be real for a second. You a little crazy. You a honey that will. You got that booty up built. No competition, deal. Got me sweating like a curry. She a baddie. Choke me to God. Reach a perfect out of fame on a Lisa. If you die, we could chill. We could go over time. Over the morning, no fall. Me at your bar, we try to sleep out. You steal, it's a crime. Girl, you're fine. 
Okay, that didn't work. I ended up not getting anything um, from Target, which is so surprising. I don't think I've ever walk in, walked out of Target without anything. So I think I'm going to head to Walmart, but I don't know. If Walmart ends up having a comforter, I know it's going to be cheaper than whatever I would have gotten out of Target. But I'm really at this point looking for a purple with a pattern to it. A cute lavenderish purple, even if it goes into the deeper purples. But the point is, I don't want anything too basic because I want to be able to play off of it a little bit. And the other accessories in the room are going to be catered to the gaming setup. So I just I just need the bed to not be so lame. <laughs> That was an L. They had nothing purple. I mean, absolutely nothing. Okay, well, they had the children's stuff, but like, it, they didn't have anything queen size. So, Walmart had zip. Um, and I don't think I'm gonna be wasting my gas going to another place. So, that was an L for the day. Okay, so I just made it back home, or I guess I've been home for a while. Um, I do have on clothes, sorry. I'm reading on my ebook. Um, I'm reading Daisy Jones and the Six right now um, because I have heard about it so many times that I'm just like, well, let me go ahead and read it. The way that I read is I read pretty much either on my phone on the Kindle app or I read on my ebook. And then if I like the book enough, then I'll repurchase it as a physical copy and have it on my bookshelves just because realistically um it's a lot easier to read on a tablet than it is a physical copy and the way that i feel about my physical copies i don't like cracking the spine or putting any type of wrinkles in the pages if i don't have to and it's more of like a collector's thing and another issue is i have a lot of books that i didn't actually like and I don't want to put them on display because it's like I don't like them. So <laughs> I like to avoid having unnecessary piles of books that I would prefer not to have. Um, so that's how I do it. So the books that I have on my bookshelves right now are pretty much the books that I've liked so far or books that I plan to get rid of. And then as time goes on, I'm gonna be purchasing the books that I have read already, but I do like and I want to have as a collector's item, things like that. But um, yeah, it is currently, I think it's like 3 p.m. right now. Um, I think I'm gonna meet up with my mom a little bit later, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog right here because I do have to edit the rest of this vlog for you guys. And with that, I just wanna say thank you all for your support and um i think we'll have a video next week too but we'll see so just check in next week but i love you all and i hope you have a good weekend